In September 1944, as part of Operation Market Garden, Allied forces launched a daring airborne assault into the Netherlands. One of the key objectives was to secure a... In September 1944, as part of Operation Market Garden, Allied forces launched a daring airborne assault into the Netherlands. One of the key objectives was to secure a road that would become known as Purple Heart Lane. Purple Heart Lane was a narrow, winding road lined with hedgerows and dotted with farmhouses. It was a vital supply route for the Allies, but it was also heavily defended by German troops. The fighting along Purple Heart Lane was fierce. The Germans had the advantage of being able to set up ambushes from the hedgerows, while the Allies had to advance cautiously, not knowing where the enemy would strike next. It was a brutal battle, with both sides taking heavy casualties. The road was littered with wrecked vehicles and the bodies of the fallen. Despite the fierce resistance, Allied forces were eventually able to secure Purple Heart Lane. The road became a lifeline for the advancing troops, allowing them to bring in much-needed supplies and reinforcements. However, the cost of securing Purple Heart Lane was high. Hundreds of Allied soldiers were killed or wounded in the fighting, earning the road its grim nickname. Today, Purple Heart Lane serves as a reminder of the bravery and sacrifice of those who fought there. It stands as a testament to the high price of freedom and the courage of those who paid it. Purple Heart Lane, remembering the fallen of Operation Market Garden. All right, welcome guys to Tanks to Glory. <laughs> I am your host, Axhawk. Alongside me is Texi. Please introduce yourself. What's up, boys? I'm Texi, certified best comp player. About to watch some great tanking. All right. Also, that would be uh, Tracks to Glory. Did I say tra Oh, I said that wrong, didn't I? Yeah, you said tanks. It's all right. <laughs> That's tanks to glory, tracks to glory, it's all the same thing. All right. All right, here we go. It looks like the Chimera tanks are kind of hugging the west side here, moving together. Oh, 
All right, so while we're doing this, tonight's rosters, we have Crimea right here. And then 75th rosters alongside that. So Naders, Commander Grimm will be, so you're gonna see Commander, Gunner, Driver. Listed alongside there. And then tonight's matchup is 75th and Chimera. You got Chimera with two rounds won and one round loss. And then 75th has two rounds won and zero rounds lost. They're both at two points. Winner of this continues in the tournament. Ooh, we're about to see an engagement here. Chimera tanks are rolling up. They're very close range, about 100 meters from each other. I only see one of the P4s. Looks like one Chimera tank uh, commanded by Mugshot is uh, holed down in a trench. The other one seems to be setting up a crossfire of sorts. Should be able to see all of them here. Donut gets out of his tank. Looks like he's preparing to repair preemptively. All right, so. All right, so. All right. Now, where's that second P4? I see one over here by the houses. You know where that second one is? I do not actually. Do not actually. Oh, you know what? I see it. He's back over there, uh, closer to uh, those wood piles over there. I don't want to ping him out, but he's just behind the first, the front tank by about 200 meters. Both tanks playing very conservatively. See both the German tanks there. I believe that's Lycaon going for the flank. Mugshot stain hold down. Right now we're looking at Nader's. Um, he's the commander on the axis side. So that'd be for 75th. Yep. Naders and uh, who's on the back? Jizzbeard? Believe so. Yes, yes. So Jizzbeard, yeah, so Jizzbeard I believe, I believe is the other one. We can definitely pull up the rosters here. One more time. First map uh, shrinkage just went down, but I mean both the tanks are already well within their respective areas. So yeah. So the only one that will eventually have to move will be Jizzbeard, but that's in the second contraction. Really quiet gameplay, nothing going on. Yeah, nothing yet. I mean, it gives us time, you know, to kind of bring up the two maps. Um, I mean, we kind of have this blocked. See all four tank cameras, this, or all four tanks kind of at this angle here. Got Mugshot down there, Lycaon down there, or over there. That would be Nader's, and behind him is just Beard. I mean, very stale. Looks like everyone's just holding a peak. Nader's is just watching the road here. Just Beard's just watching the field. I mean, it's slow a slow game. Everyone's playing to live. Well, I mean, we just had our just first had reduction first timer, timer go zero. Go zero. So. Yep. That's a pretty good angle, to be honest. Let's check in with the ref's camera here. Oh, you know what? I forgot you could like click on people's shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can lock yeah, you on can and lock everything. On So we know the we know the match is live. Uh, we definitely have the countdown going. Yep, it's just a slow one. Looks almost as if everyone crashed, but they didn't. Oh, we're having some movement here. Yeah, is that Nader's there rolling out there? Yes, it is. Oh no, that's Jizzbeard. See Jizzbeard moving up in the back there. Nothing on the ally side though. They're they're hunkered down. It's I think Jizzbeard is just getting within the map. Uh, the next contraction zone, because he was outside of it before. See him moving across the field over there. Actually, if he rolls onto that road, Naders may get a shot on him. I don't think he's going to do it, though. Yeah, so we did have an update there. there. Just beard the pirate. Uh, Dank uh, Miss Danky is a gunner, and driver is NWH Shadow. So we had a last minute sub. On the, on the rosters on the 75th side you said it's for nader's uh squad yes yes frankly it's not a lot going on no one wants to be the first tank to get hit no i mean there's only seven, seven minutes and 50 minutes seconds left in the round in the round yeah i mean so honestly, a test of patience. Both these tanks are within the boundaries. They don't actually have to move. Um, I'm not exactly. I don't exactly remember the like. I know if one team has more tanks than the others, then they win in overtime. But I don't know about if they have an equal amount of tanks. I couldn't tell you. I mean, honestly, Nader's might as well just turn off his uh, engine. I think uh, Lycaon here is in a more maneuverable position, but Nader's is just already held down in a trench. He might as well turn off his engine because if he's getting hit, he's not going to get out of it in time regardless. Yeah. Yeah. So I just saw a little bit of movement. It's like a horror film. <laughs> Jizzbeard, every time I look at Jizzbeard, he's like 10 feet forward. There's just no, no line of sight. Yeah. See, Nader's is watching this crossroad here, but no reason to push that. I mean, we'll definitely see we'll definitely some, action, some action, but they're gonna yeah, make, they're us, gonna wait. make <laughs> us wait. <laughs> yeah. Saint Mary is just a map of hedgerows. Purple Heart Lane. I mean, it kind of forces you to be in action with all those uh, long line of sights and stuff. Just weird moving up. Oh, both of them are moving up. Nader's and Jizbeard are moving up on the west side. This may be enforced engagement. I think they hear him. Yeah, Mugshot hears the tank. Really get the gun on. Ricochet off the gun shield. He's going to take the incentive to push, but he was way too slow. Okay. This gunner misses. He's going to teach him to back off. Not Ooh, is right. that a flank going on? Oh, yeah, okay. It looks like Lycaon is heading back. Yeah, we got one hit on the Panzer IV. Lycaon's heading back to help out his ally here. And then uh, Jizbeard is pushing out the road. Will he get the turret shot? He sees him. Nader sees him. He, he hit that gun shield. That's such a nearly impossible place to penetrate on that. Uh, ooh, we got one hit here. Oh, we got all the actions going on. Mugshot takes a turret shot. Nader's takes a whole shot. He's oh, hurt. And they get out during that. Ooh, and what is that? And yeah, that was a risky dismount. Ooh, that's a tank kill, though. That is a I believe that was Lycaon. No, that was a. Uh, that was Mugshot's tank. Lycaon here now going to intercept this Panzer IV while his friend is repairing, but the turret is not faced it correctly. Here we go. Yep, Forced and engagement here. Did grab that replay, but. Uh oh, Lycaon will really loses engagement, but I think his friendly tank is going to be having enough time to help out. I don't think he can hit him. Yeah, he can't see him. He's too he's too far down. Just off the gun barrel here. But for some reason he's pushing. Jazz Beard is pushing. That's gonna kill him. Oh, but he messes up the shot. Oh my goodness. And Nick Brown goes to 75th. That was surprising. I thought Jazz Beard was certainly dead, but for some 
somehow that gunner messed up the shot and lost to the P4. What a round. It's quieter than all the action happened at the same time. I didn't know what to capture. <laughs> I mean, look at this. It came down to the final shot. And I, I mean, the wait was worth it. I mean, the entire time, just, you know, everything was slow pace, not happening a whole lot. And then yeah, all of a sudden, like, boom. Yep. Yep. Wow, what a round. I really thought Mug, uh, Mug Screw would have that, but just hitting that track cost him the game. I thought he also had enough help to survive another shot, but I guess not. No. But uh, it looks like Lycan got a shot on Naders through the hedgerow here. That killed him. Or, I'm sorry, no, that was Mug Shot that killed uh, Naders. But uh, Jizzbeard came up and killed, uh, killed both of them. What a play. Nice double kill. In fact, that was technically a clutch because uh, Naders went down before they got any of the other ones. So, yeah, there's a clutch. All right, so I just heard that one of the crews had a game crash on them, so we'll be re waiting for a restart. We'll give both of our teams plenty of time to uh, reorganize regardless. Well, that was a great first round, honestly. Slow at the beginning, but that climax was amazing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I definitely agree. Um, this has been something I've been wanting to wait for here, so... Right, well, waiting for <sighs> that, let's take a look. I brought it up slightly earlier, but the two tanks that are being used, so this one, the M4A1 Sherman, a little bit of history, built and produced February 1942 to July 1945. Yeah, Sherman was infamous for being very, very uh, variable. As in, you can make it. There's all sorts of different types of Shermans going from. Um, I mean, the 76 that's in the game is just a Sherman. It's just another one of those modified Shermans. That one's a 76 Jumbo. Gets a bunch of extra armor, a bunch of extra gun. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean the stats that you're stats seeing, that you're seeing here, here, that's the Hell at Loose stats. Just stats, giving you a heads up there. The 5.4 seconds of reloads in game, in game reload time. time. Um, three uh, person when I think the original one was five. Uh, top speed is not tw uh, 23 kilometers. That is or kilometers. That is the hell of loose speed. Um, yeah. But the production made and and production dates that is actually accurate and uh, to history. I believe. Well, I'm not sure. Let me see. Well, I'll, while you're doing that, I'm gonna pull up the Panzer here. Um, um, as before, yeah, you know, before, you less, know were less were made, production time April 1943 to July 1944. Um, it's a medium um, tank, as most, as of, the most of the tanks that are used during this uh, tournament are medium are tanks, medium tanks. Or actually all of them are. Mm -hmm. um, they all about have similar specs, so you can see the reload times just slightly slower. So the, you know, the, the allies have a slight advantage. I don't really think it's a big one. Yeah, as we saw there, that gun shield on the Sherman is one of its strongest pieces. I mean, it that first shot, I believe that was from Jizzbeard. I'm not sure, though, but just ricocheted harmlessly off. But once Jizzbeard started hitting the turret... That's when he started doing actual damage. Yeah, so as we're waiting here, guys, we'll be right back. You reckon you can I feel like I'm echoing in two minutes, 45 seconds. I can hear, I can hear myself talk. Yeah, nope. start time to one hour, or are you, uh, as a uh, give, us a, give us a second to confirm when we're close enough, in case we hit something when we drive. I don't know why I'm echoing. No worries. You have screen share up? 
just uh, please try and remember to spawn the tanks while the map's on, so we don't have to wait so long. Oh, next. you're talking about that. Yeah, that was my battle sorry. It's so all good. Check one of the Check one check two. Oh, that's what it was. No, I can still hear myself. Oh, they were about to see a confrontation here. Yeah, Mugshot I mean, directly close. in front. Is that two pairs? Oh, they're, they're, they're going to be head on. I got a shot of both of them right here. Look at that. <laughs> it's the exact same fight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. I'm going to get a wide view of that if that's all right. Oh, they hear each other's engines. Look how close they are right there. Now, there is a... A problem with 75th is that they have both of them facing the same direction, whereas uh, Chimera has one tank facing one and the other tank facing the other direction. And they know they're right there. That's the, that's the weird uh -oh. thing. Uh-oh. 75th pushing out. Oh, a oh. bad shot from the first Sherman. But that is incentive for Mugshot, who's if he pushes this, he's going to get hugely rewarded. He is. Got one successful hit on the Panzer IV uh, via Lycaon. Oh, Mugshot is about to get a huge reward for this push. Going for the Hurt Sherman first, or Hurt Panzer IV first, but he messes up the shot. Lycaon's pushing up as well. He got one. 
It's probably gonna be a trade here. Oh, uh, like I'm missing up the shot again. Jeez beard. Oh, and that's gonna be game for sure. No coming back from that. Yeah. That was literally the exact opposite of the first rounds. Dang, yeah, it was. That was quick too. Yeah. So we're tied 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I think the major problem we saw there was uh, 75th had both tanks facing the same direction, which allowed, um, I believe that was Mugshot there. He already despawned there, but I believe it was Mugshot to flank around. Missing a couple shots, but, I mean, everyone's nervous. Shots miss. That just happens. But, I mean, they got hugely rewarded for that back push, and that round goes to uh, Chimera. Yeah, I mean... Time to regroup, time to, time to regroup, get set time back, to get up. Set back up. Yep. Is what it is, but I mean, that's how it rolls. Alrighty. Well, that's it for round two. Alright, so um, we're going to go to be right back again and get everything reset. We are tied 1-1. One, one. We didn't use enough ammo, so our medium's just gonna drive over. Sorry, I was clapped out. Uh, I see that you abandoned one and picked up this other one. I'm just gonna drive the truck over and I'll go with the blade. Okay, the, the, the other Sherman's got one minute left.
Alright, we are back, guys. So... If you can give me a second, I'm having some problems with my game. Alright, so... As we can see, they're starting to push up. We got Naders right here, Grim, and then we have... There you go, right there, finishing out with Dank. Um, so they're pushing up here. Let's take a look at some of the other cameras we have here. Not sure what's going on with my hell at loose. You're muted. All right, yep, so I am back here with Taxi. You wanna say hi to everyone? Hi, uh, can y'all hear me? Am I good? Yeah, we're good, all right. Okay, hi, sorry about that. For some reason I have a lot of issues tonight. We're gonna get that worked out hopefully next week. I'm not sure what my game is doing right now. I seem to be in some sort of like, I mean, I, I hope it's still recording all right. I have to use my right mouse button in order to move my camera around, but... I no, it's it. looking fine to me. I think we're all good to go. Heck, if you even want to lock on to them, you can. Try here. I might able Oh, wait. Here we go. There we go. Looks like taking a... And it looks like they're actually right across from each other, so if we go to the ref cam... That gives us a great view from up above. Yeah, I think they're right across from each other on the field here. You got eyes on both Shermans. One seems to be holding down the, uh, what would be the west side here in the open field. Ooh, we got a shot fired and a hit on Mug. That was a long range shot there. Miss. You just see him way over there. Looks like Mug's gonna get back in cover. Shots fired. I believe that was by Lycan here. Yep, it was. Clean so, fire here. I don't see any scored hits. We might have a flank coming from the far side. Got one hit on the German tank. And a miss. Where's that flank coming from? It's coming from the east side. East side, Roger. Oof. And we did have one get out. Looks like Will B got out. He's actually trying to repair the tank here. Yeah. Looks like uh, Lycan can still actually see that tank. Maybe able to get a shot. Gunner shooting low right now, looks like. It's a tough shot, though. Well, Naders definitely has a mark on them. Let's see if they can get that shot off. There is a slight hill in front of them. I don't know if that's still blocking their their line of sight or that kill shot, but we'll see. Yep. Uh, we will. Shots fired again. Who's that trading off with this? I got Lycon firing over here. Who's firing at him? That is Nader. So it's Nader's tank. Nader's. So one, the tank that we have our first person camera view in. Lycon versus Nader's in that trade off. I haven't seen anything happen between Mugshot and. Uh... Would that be Jizzbeard, I believe? Yeah. I'm not even sure where he is. Yeah, we had the one flank. I, I lost him. Alright, we got eyes on him here. I'm going to switch over. He looks like to be pushing up here. 
he going on that road on the east side or yeah it'd be the east side this might be a pretty big strat if they can pull it off you gotta get past here though being a little cautious instead of doing a full send Oh, I see him here. Yeah, he's on the main road there, right in the center. Yep. Okay. No, I don't think that flank will be helping him out there because if he pushes too far, mug uh, mugshot get a good good side shot on him. Well, and it looks like Nader's starting to come back up from behind, so they're gonna definitely gonna have some support from the rear. Yeah, I see him there. Okay, I see. It looks like he's uh, using uh, that Bohemian Gate there as some cover. Yeah, it's definitely good cover to have to break up um, any tank rounds coming in. A lot of people don't realize how well they can actually um, deflect those rounds. Yeah. Fortunately, you can't shoot through the bars. Everything's just a, it's just a solid hitbox. So you can see, but you can't shoot. It's going to be another quiet round. No one wants to make take the first move because they know it comes with a risk. Well, heck, you got to take the risk sometimes. That's exactly right. All right. Okay, I see both of these P4s now. Let's see what you mean here. Looks like one is on Pierre's. That would be Nader's the forward one. Jizbeard is the one behind the Bohemian Gate. Okay. All right. All right. I see Nader's moving, just barely. Going the west. Jizbeard is. Spirit is also moving, I believe. Yeah, very slowly forward. The German tanks are moving up. Uh oh. Nader's maybe. You know what? I think he sees. I think they see each other. Yes, he does. Yep, they do. Looks like they're trading off here. One successful hit on Mugshot. He's going to retreat back into cover. Will he get there in time? Looks like he will. Let's see what Lycan is over here doing. Lycan's trying to get an angle on this, but it's... it's doesn't look like it's going to happen from there. He's going to have to reposition. Bugshot and Donut are outside of their tank. Shots coming too far from Lycan as well. Two Panzer fours right there. Okay, Mugshot is back in the fight. I don't think he lost any crew members, so that's good. Light push coming from Lycan. He's going to try and get an LOS on some of these. A uh, line of sight on some of these tanks. Let's see what he sees. Nothing. Immediately reverse. More of a spotting uh, attempt to spot than I mean, an attempt to just shoot. Slightly off slightly there off by, a, by a, couple a couple minutes. So we're, so we're close to close being to under, be a under a minute here, minute. which we just passed we for that reduction that timer to kind of shorten the shorten battlefield here. Battle. Look at that. It looks like Jizbeard has poked back out. That kind of sets a trap for uh, Lycan. If he pushes out again, Jizbeard, we're going to cross hole shot on him. 
And it looks like he may. Driver is looking restless. So I don't know if we can see it on your screen, but I'm going to switch over here. You can see they're fully peeking out now, exposing their side here. Yeah, I see. I think I see both of them. Yep. One on the right, one on the left. You know, Lycan may benefit from a push here. Uh, I don't know. That's super risky. It's just a question of these tank commanders have to make up on the dime. Both the German tanks are the ones that are wanting to initiate the push, it looks like. Yeah, His beard is on the road. So you can see him slowly coming down here. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, he's hidden. He's at the spot where he's really hidden. It's hard to see him. What do you see here? I mean, his gunner's shooting right over this hedgerow here. I mean, that is excellent cover concealment. And he gives a, a somewhat clean shot. Fortunately, there's just no one there to shoot at. So it's actually, you can. It actually looks like he may be able to see. I just don't think the gunners had noticed it. Yeah, the gunner hasn't noticed it. He actually is able just to barely see Nader's track there. Rough, rough to see there, but right there, you can just see that track there. And as you can see, Nader just spotted him. Oh, there we go. Yep. That looks like a successful hit. Finally saw that track. Oh, and what a kill shot by Lycaon. Finishing off his adversary. Takes a shot. Is he going to reverse in time? He gets one shot off on Jizbeard. Oh, and Jizbeard messes up the secondary shot. Now Mugshot's trying to return the favor that Lycaon gave to him. I See mean, if he can kill Jizbeard. Yeah. Oh, and what a kill shot by Lycaon. What a play. What a play. Finishing off his... So as you can see, while well, we're at one to replay, they did take a hit, but they are still up. I mean, they're still out in the open. They got to find some cover. Yeah, you got to get up that road. Lycaon has every incentive here to push up, but he doesn't know it. Is he going to take the risk or not? It looks like he is. I wonder if Jizbeard... I wonder why they're not repairing, honestly. If that gunner sees that their tank is still on fire, he's probably going to hold... They're not pushing up at all. The Mexican standoff. I mean, Lycan doesn't know it, but all he has to do is push. But it looks like he's about to miss his opportunity as Jizbeard pulls back into cover. Yep. And there he goes, sinking into the to so, the shadowy realms of cover. I mean, if they back up too far, though, they're giving a good line of sight, maybe. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, I see that. I see exactly what you're looking at. In fact, if if Mugshot knew... Oh, okay, it looks like they corrected it. Huh, they pulled back up a little bit. Alright, so... Oh, he's pushing out in the middle of the road again. Well, look at this. I wonder what Jizbeard is doing. <laughs> Do they not... I wonder if they, they may not have repair torches, or is he repairing at the he same time? He is repairing okay. while well laying well on, the on the tank. You do not see this not very, see often. very often. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Now, I mean, now no one can even see because the commander's is the highest sight in the in the tank. I mean, I think that's so why he's on top like that, top so he like can that. still see well repairing. I guess. I mean, let's would work out. Oh, okay, there we go. It looks like the fire is out, probably within the two shot range again now. But he's he's about to get shot by mugshot. I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can get a line of sight on that. Oh, mugshot's not moving, honestly. I mean, he set up the, he set up the, uh, well, I'm talking about that little, oh, looks like Jizbeard is actually getting off the road here. And if only they knew, only they knew. he just got he stuck. Just got stuck. <laughs> yeah, honestly, these American tanks have had plenty of opportunities to kill Jizbeard, but it's not their fault, of course, because they, I mean, they don't know any better. No, For it, all they know, he could be at the very back of that road, you know, exactly, watching a Exactly, exactly. So it, it's a 2v1 right now. Oh, you know what? Jizbeard is going to get a, uh, engine shot. Engine shot on uh, Lycaon here. He gets it. He misses the engine though. There it is. There it is. 
They did take a hit though from the right side. And there you have it. There you have it. There is well, regardless, the match. Chimera won. It looked like there was a little bit of alteration there with uh Chimera actually won before they killed the tank because they had two tanks up while uh seventy fifth only had one, so they actually won by overtime anyway. Yeah, please have better calling on that next time though. So there you have it. Here's your team that took out Good job, the final Camaro. match. I suppose that's why uh, Mugshot there had such a shallow angle on the... Um, he, he was holding so far back on the Hedro because there was no incentive for him to push, right? I mean, yeah, Bidbeard I mean, had one really was. It was a 2v1. Yeah, so, and if it, it goes so... to overtime, they're going to win. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, there, there was nothing there was for them to really make to that really push, no, push incentive no incentive whatsoever. whatsoever. Um, um, he almost got it though. It's very close. I mean, yeah, they almost yeah, had they it. Almost they had, had it. the they had everything the, down there. Down it was going, there, well. going well. But just, just a little short. A little short. Yeah, exactly. ten seconds. I think about ten seconds, fifteen seconds sooner, he would have. Uh, he would have just gone into overtime. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly so. but uh, I mean, regardless, Mugshot is the one that killed uh, Jizzbeard. Regardless, so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Tamara won in both respects, overtime and you know, killing the enemy tanks. So that's gonna be it for Chimera. They won. Good yep. job. And they are the and first team this week to get the two wins, wins that, that pushes, pushes them to pushes four, them points. four points. And then as for 75th, they did they get a, did point, get so a point, so they will now have, will now have three, points three points instead of two. Instead of two. So they are so now they are the now second the top, second but they will top, not be continuing because this continuing is an elimination, is an elimination tournament. tournament. Mm -hmm. So what so two teams what do you teams think will come victorious, come victorious in the next couple of matches you have? You have the Fat C's, you, C's, you got BDE, you got the, the Line, line C-Trax, BNS. HLB, HLB fan, fan club. club, so those are the seven. The only one that I can, uh, I would say the only one that I can unbiasedly rate it would be the last two teams. What do you say the last two teams were? Uh, HLB, uh, fan, HLB club fan club and BNS. and BNS. I guess, I I don't know. I, to be honest, I I don't know. Um, bitches and snitches has a funnier name, I guess. I, I'll probably do that. It's got you demonetized. My bad. <laughs> Hopefully you can censor that or something. I don't know. I guess it's a live stream. Apologies. Um, I'm going for the the uh, C tracks because I think they're a really funny team. My team is the Fat C's, so yeah. I mean, they're yeah, I mean, they're a good they're team. A good I think team. they have a lot of, have a lot of uh, uh, the, possibility the possibility to win it. To win it. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I hope they do. I mean, it would be funny because uh, C Trax is a all infantry team. They're not actually. There's no actual tankers on that team. They're just playing around, having some fun. Yeah, when I, but, look, uh, at this, I look at this, uh, the, teams uh, the teams that you recognize, that you recognize the, most, the most, like the line, the line you know they have a vast, have a vast tanking vast history, history from, from the full, full like, 50, like 50, 50 or 35, 50 35 tanking. tanking mm -hmm. Competitive matches, and, and then and Crimea that we, that we saw today. They have that, they have you know. That, you know um, history with history competitive with matches competitive as well, you know, knowing how to tank, knowing being in the right position. The right position. Um, and they can do it with um, infantry. Do it with this is without this infantry. Is without this is infantry. just, tank, just on tank, tank on tank, you know, battles. You know, so. battles. Yep. Yep. Well, good job, Camara. Yeah, I mean, well-learned victory. I mean, it, it was well-fought with both teams. Um... I, I truly believe that second round fatal flaw with having both tanks facing the same direction here. Just, you know, unfortunate what happened. I believe what happened to Naders was just unfortunate, honestly. Having, having, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'm choking on a freaking piece of popcorn. <laughs> having uh, that track poked out just too much. Yeah, I, it's, yeah I, it's just a little too much. Too didn't much, play in their favor. In their favor. Um, yep, and and you know that's you that's know, what happens. So, so, you know, they move, you know, move on, and and you know this is you know, Chimera's this new is score new around. Score so they've around. won four, they've lost, won four two. lost two. Um, um, 
you know, this continue to go that way. And then as for the 75th, they are done with their final being three and one. So, I mean, it was interesting. We'll see what next week leads. Uh, I don't think all the matches are tomorrow, I believe. Uh, some of those match times, 3 p.m. EST, 2 p.m. EST, I think. Or could be. Yeah. I'm way. playing the 2 p.m. if I remember correctly. So, are you streaming? Uh, I guess uh, I'll talk to you about that later. To be honest, <laughs> I will not be streaming any of the matches tomorrow. But you guys can definitely look them up um, on the Tanks to Glory um, Discord and look up all those match times, who's streaming, and all of that. So, uh, tune Tracks in to Glory. I, I know. I keep <laughs> saying, you know what? They're gonna next <laughs> next, next, season, next season. They should to be Tanks it. to Glory in your honor. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, it was fun being on here. I um, enjoyed co-casting, so fun game. I can't wait to play tomorrow. Yeah, yeah it was a I'm pleasure. Uh, uh, anyways, you, you guys have a great have night. A great night. Thanks, for thanks for being here. As yeah, always, we always do have to do our final send-off here. In September 1944. Um, as I kind of go back. Give me one moment here. Um, uh, as always, Friday always night fights. Friday you guys, night missed, fights. It you guys missed it this this week. This week. But hey, you guys but came hey, here and here enjoyed and some enjoyed tanking some with, tanking us. with so us. So you can always join so 9 p.m. EST every Friday. Friday. Um, Sunday um, night standoffs stand actually, actually taking a break right break now. now. We're gonna, We're gonna you know, take a couple of weeks off, come back to it. But we still got Saturday brawl every Saturday at 1 p.m. EST. So come and join us tomorrow. Join the fun in that game. You know, World War II. Get back in it. Um, um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Lot of fun. So, so with all further ado, you guys have a good night and stay safe. Stay safe. See you.